You're listening to The Cool CLE Show. I'm Jay, host of The Cool CLE Show, brought to you by CoolCleveland.com, putting you in touch with cool events, people, news, and neighborhoods in the Cleveland region. This week, we're joined by Gretchen Dupes, President and Executive Director of Cleveland Angels, a charity operating in the Cleveland region that supports foster parents and children. Tickets are available for two of its fundraising events happening in October and November. We'll hear more about the good work they're doing for our city and more on those events a little later in the show. But first, here's some events I think should be on your calendar. The Rust Belt Riders will be hosting their popular composting 101 class on August 10th. You can learn more about the Rust Belt Riders and their mission to tackle food waste in our city on episode 32 of our cool CLE show podcast. Also, August 10th is the Old Brooklyn Pierogi Fest at Mary Queen of Peace on Pearl Road. Games, polka, beer, Polish vendors, and a pierogi eating contest on the bill there. August 15th through the 18th, you can head down to Little Italy for the annual Feast of the Assumption. Kicks off with mass at 10, followed by a procession. But of course, though, the celebrations have carnival rides, amazing food from the resident Italian restaurants and bakeries, and of course, music. Voinovich Park hosts a Water Lantern Festival on August 17th. And the Rock and Roll Half Marathon returns on August 18th. You can go down, cheer on the runners, and be entertained by many of the local and not so local bands and singers that will be dotted along the course. Those include Kevin Conaway, String Breaker, and the Stuff Breakers from Brazil, uh, Guy Snowden, and many others. Before we talk to Gretchen Dupes of Cleveland Angels, we've got some new music for you from the Rick Ray Band. It's their new album called Dark Matter Halo, and it's available on CD Baby now. Here's a track from that called 48 Hour day.
right. I always love to bring you guys uh, the attention of a local charity that really does some fantastic work in our local community. And this one is uh, definitely in, in line with that. We've got Gretchen Dupes, the president and executive director from Cleveland Angels with us. Thank you so much, Gretchen. Thank you for having me. All right. So um, what you guys do is you are dedicated to supporting and empowering children in foster care to succeed. Tell us a little bit about how you go about doing that in our community. Sure. So Cleveland Angels is a chapter of a national organization called National Angels. So we were able to bring these programs um, that were developed in Austin, Texas. We've been able to bring them to Cleveland. And so the mission is to walk alongside children in the foster care system, as well as their caretakers, um, by offering consistent support through intentional giving, relationship building, and mentorship. So intentional giving is the giving of thoughtful gifts and resources that will meet the real needs of the child and their entire family. And these are the and love boxes, is that right? These are. This is through, um, primarily through um, two programs that we have. One mm -hmm. is the love box program and the other is a Dare to Dream mentoring program. So yes, this the family um, support, this kind of wraparound community that we build for our foster families is through our love box program. Yeah, and, and you know, you talk about on your website that, you know, a child going into foster care regardless of the situation, it's never really a happy one, right? There is, there is not a good thing that has happened in that child's life or in the, in the, you know, the family unit around that child that is a happy occasion when this happens. So how does a love box help <laughs> in that situation? Right. So anytime a child is removed from their home, no matter what um, the circumstances are, uh, that's a traumatic mm. experience for them. So many, many times they've experienced trauma while in the home and in the situation, but it's also traumatic to yeah. be separated from your birth family and from, you know, your community that you have always known. So um, what the Love Box program does is it tries to offer support to the families who are bringing children into their home to offer them a safe and loving environment to be in. But we also know that when a child has experienced trauma, there's a lot that goes along with that. And it's a challenging situation for the foster parents and for the foster child and also for the siblings in the home. Mm. So um, what we do is we try to pair a group that we call a love box group with this family to offer emotional support and to offer, you know, just some extra help and things that they might need, you know, some practical needs and some things that are just of interest to the kids in the family and try to provide some normalcy mm -hmm. just through, you know, really just extra friends to wrap mm. community around um, those situations. Yeah. And you've got some uh, heartbreaking, staggering statistics on your website as well, um, which leads into the, the Dare to Dream uh, program. You say on there that 97% of foster children, you know, may not graduate from college, even though they get their wards of the state and so they would get college um, and 50% may not even um, graduate high school. So how does the Dare to, Gre Dare to Dream program uh, offset those, those trends? Well, our Dare to Dream program is a one-on-one -on -one mentoring program. So for youth ages 15 to 21, we pair a mentor with a mentee. So one-to-one -one ratio and the mentor commits to a year um, of spending time with that youth and they meet twice a month. So we have several milestones that we have set up within the organization that we think will help the youth be ready um, at the time in which possibly he or she ages out of mm -hmm. care. Um, at 18, a child can leave um, custody of the state, but they are allowed to stay up until 21. But mm -hmm. many times by 18, when they're able to make the decisions for themselves, they they do, you know, move out of the system. Mm -hmm. But what we want to do is help to provide the tools for them so that they will be ready to be successful. And so what we do is we help have the mentors help them decide, what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. um, do you want to 
go to college? Do you want to go to a trade school? Do you want to become, you know, go into the military? What things do you want to do? Because what we don't want for our youth is to have our youth end up homeless or Mm. in prison due to different things that, um, you know, they might come into when Mm -hmm. they are without support. And, um, you know, teen pregnancy is a really big problem for girls who are in foster care. So, by age 19, um, youth in foster care, girls in foster care are twice as likely to become pregnant as someone who's not in care. So um, that's not setting them up to be successful if we aren't helping them to navigate everything that they need um, before they get to the point where they would age out. Yeah. And stop that cycle. It sounds like, Mm -hmm. you know, you could very easily get sucked into those same situations and, and, and behaviors that, that their parents or their other family Mm -hmm. members, you know, how it all started for them in the first place. Wow. I mean, you guys have such a rewarding job, but it must be so challenging sometimes. I mean, how do you guys keep motivated in, in these situations? Well, for me, um, how I came to um, an understanding or knowledge of foster care, my parents fostered when I was growing up. Hmm. So we had um, children who lived with us. And I guess I saw the the struggles and the things that my parents faced and what those children faced who were living with us and, and some of the, you know, circumstances that they had come through at an you know, such a young age, Mm. and it's just unimaginable. And so with our programs, we just really are committed to um, offering kind of that support for the foster family to be able to foster for longer so that those children have consistency. Because um, a national statistic that we have is that children can move homes up to seven times in a two-year period. And there are a lot of reasons for that. But one of the reasons is that over 50% of foster families will close their home within a year of fostering Mm. because it's challenging Mm. to have children who um, have experienced a lot of trauma. And it's also challenging just making it to all of the appointments and court dates and all of the things that are involved um, for children who are in care. So we just believe that by offering the support that the families will be able to foster for longer, the children will have consistency and that we can help to break some of those cycles and get them set up for success. Wow. Okay. So if uh, people listening to you right now, if it's touching their hearts and they want to get involved, they want to help, how about, how would people go about doing that? It's pretty easy. We have a website at cleangels.org and there are lots of opportunities um, to become involved. And if you feel called to um, participate in a love box group where that really just means that you're getting together with six to eight friends that you already do life with and you want to pair up with a foster family, then you can go on there and under our programs, you can just go down and select the Love Box program and submit an application right there on the website. If you just really are passionate about um, helping teens to become successful and you want to be a mentor, same thing. Just go to our programs tab and there's a drop down for the Dare to Dream program and you can apply right through there. Um, So as far as being involved in our programs, that's how you do that. Mm. Um, We have several other ways that you can be involved. Um, We have monthly sponsors that help us to be able to fund and finance um, the the programs to be able to serve the youth and the families. Um, And then we do something that I really love doing is um, we work with corporate partners. So we can um, come out to a company or an organization and we hold what we call an engaged culture day. And when we do that, we get to share our mission, get people involved, but then we also do a service project together that we can, um, you know, give back into the community. So um, all of those details are available right on the website and there are forms you can fill out right there. All right. And you've got some fundraising events happening uh, uh, here towards the end of the year. Uh, October 4th, what's going on then? We have a fundraiser that's going to be held at Red Space on Superior. So 
kind of middle of town so that we can um, have everybody from around the city come join us for a Don't Stop Believing fundraiser. And we are so fortunate. We have our CEO, Susan Ramirez. She's the founder of Austin Angels that has become National Angels. And she's going to be in town and she's going to share her story with us and how, how she developed this program. So um, we'll have, you know, lots of fun things that night. We're going to have a little bit of a rock theme that evening. So we'll just, it'll be a casual fun evening for everyone. <laughs> and then on November 16th, you mentioned you've got another fundraising opportunity. Yes, um, David Da Vinci, he's what he calls a thrillusionist. So he's a magician and an illusionist. And um, he has headlines all over the world. He um, is a headliner on cruise ships and um, Burnham and Bailey Circus. He's done lots of things. And he has offered to come to Stocker Center at um, Lorain County Community College. And so that evening, he will be performing for us. And all, the all of it will benefit Cleveland Angels. All right. Fantastic. And of course, tickets are available from August. Thank you so much, Gretchen. Uh, again, like like you said, uh, all of the information about the Cleveland Angels uh, programs, how you can get involved, how you can help support, uh, and how you can sort of attend some of these events are on CLEangels, that's all one word, dot org, CLEangels dot org. Thank you so much, Gretchen. Thank you. Now a track from a Cuyahoga Falls band, Blue Radio. They're currently in the studio working on new material set for release in October of this year. Uh, but now we've got Where the Pine Trees Sing. <laughs>
That was Blue Radio with Where the Pine Trees Sing. And that's it for this week. Many thanks to Gretchen Dupes for coming on the show. Please check out cleangels.org to learn more about their work in our community with foster parents and children, opportunities to get involved, and of course, their upcoming fundraisers. Don't Stop Believing on October 4th and David DaVinci on November 16th. Of course, thank you to the Rick Ray Band and Blue Radio for the tunage. You've been listening to the Cool CLE Show brought to you by CoolCleveland.com. Have a good one.